Hello educators and welcome to Lesson 1, the Note app for Android. In this lesson, we will be taking a look at the collaborative features of Note and the interactive tools that make it such a popular app. During this lesson, Chris will demonstrate how to use Note to utilize the interactivity of the Create board and take you on a tour of the features and how they can come in handy. Next, Chris will show you how to bring files into the space for notation. Then, we will take a look at how the split screen feature and the web browser can make a powerful team. And finally, we will be including a YouTube playlist for you to take a deeper dive into Note and the great ways to use it on your LG Create board. And now, we will turn it back over to Chris to take us through our lesson. Thanks, Alex. We'll now take a look at our lesson on the Notes app. The Notes app is a great tool for writing, marking up the page, and sharing information with our students quickly and easily. Let's take a look at launching the Notes app. We can do that from the dock on the side and selecting the Note app if it's there, or selecting the Note app from the desktop. Let's dive in and look at all the features. Once it opens up, you can see we have a number of toolbars across the bottom. We have uh, our pen tool, and that allows us to modify the thickness. I'll demonstrate that in just a moment, or the different types of tools that we will use. I use pencil, keep the thickness and black. We have our eraser, which allows us to erase different sections, clear all, rulers, shapes, all sorts of shapes and manipulatives that we can move around on the screen. Those are our 2D, those are our 3D, great for mathematics and helping students better understand concepts. We have the ability to insert tables. Why would we want to do that? Well, we may have students interacting with the board, uh, coming up and interacting and doing specific things, and so we're going to add quadrants to the board. Okay. We also have the ability to do mind maps, and so when we are doing some uh, creative thinking or we're working through a concept, such as, let's just use a great example here. I am going to insert text on monkeys. Let's say, change my font. Okay. And then we would want to use adjectives. And so we could say, or, or things that describe it. Live in forest or jungle. Have hair. Well, there we go hair on body, and so forth. So we could do mammals, et cetera, et cetera. So we could be working collectively as a class on that. So let's uh, go ahead and move that off to the side. Okay. Uh, we also have sticky notes, and the sticky note functionality is very similar to what we've seen in other applications like Jamboard um, or other tools that we've been using and we can add uh, quick notes. Idea one, or maybe we want it to be connected to our thinking map. Mammal, okay. Um, and we can change colors, we can do all sorts of things. And then we could also add a grid. And so we can do that directly on our board and move them around on the board. If I ever want to delete anything that I've added, I just long press it with the board and either delete it, clone it, or move it, or I can add text. I'm gonna delete these. So those are our main tools and functions. One thing I will note over here is that we can add additional boards. So we have one note page right here, and if I add another, I get a blank page, okay? So when I do export this, this would export as all of those different pages. So then, the other thing that we would look at is our menu over here. In our menu, we can uh, save our current file. So click Save, 
and it will save it to our notes folder. Okay, I can name it. Click menu, I can import images, PDFs, uh, scalable uh, vector graphics, or interactive whiteboard files from other systems. And similarly, I can export all of these things as an image or as a PDF, so I can add them into Google Classroom or any other place that I, I want to store um, any notes or things that I've demonstrated for the students during class. Okay. Uh, the other things that we should look at are the templates, and this is the background. And so we have the ability to change the color of the background easily. We also have a number of different um, layouts that are pre-done. Or if you uh, prefer to create your own, you could actually create your own in something like Canva um, or another graphics program and actually import your own background for notes. Why would that be useful? Well, if you have particular KWL charts or different protocols or different resources that you use consistently, you could actually upload it and save it as a template. Okay. So that is the bulk of what you need to know for notes on the Create Board. It's a great resources for capturing things in real time and taking information and change the font on that, taking information and capturing it on our board in a highly visual way. So I can take notes as I go. So note one, note two, terrible example. But the point being that I can have these two things side by side. My students can see the video. I can be taking notes as I go. I can pull up a mind map. Let's just erase this all. And pull up a mind map. And we could be taking notes as we are watching something. So watch, pause, take a quick note. And so we're demonstrating that. The other part at the same time, and this is connected to Create Board Share, students can be seeing these locally on their own devices if they are connected and I am pushing the content to their device. So not only are they seeing this up close, they're also seeing the notes that I am taking through this process. And that's the Note app. It's a great resource for building knowledge, demonstrating ideas for students, and connecting students to the information. I'm now going to pass it back to Alex. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. And as promised, here are some resources for you. First, if you would like some additional training on the Android Note app, head on over to their website, where they have a lot of literature to help you out. And if you are more of a visual learner and would like to do a deeper dive into Note, we have put together a YouTube playlist for you to explore. We hope you had fun learning about whiteboard.chat. We will see you in the next lesson.